can you explain to us the difference in practical terms between having a coach who did believe in you the way that he did and the difference between that and what was happening with Flores? Yeah. Well, to put it in simplest terms, if you woke up every morning and I told you, you suck at what you did, that you don't belong doing what you do, that you shouldn't be here, that this guy should be here, that you haven't earned this right. And then you have somebody else come in and tell you, dude, you are the best fit for this. Like you are accurate. You are the best, whatever you are, this, you are that. Like, how would it make you feel listening to one or the other? You see what I'm saying? And then you hear it, you hear it, regardless of what it is, the good or the bad. And you hear it more and more. You start to actually believe that. I don't care who you are. You, you could be the president of the United States. You have a terrible person that's telling you things that you, sh you don't want to hear or that, that you probably shouldn't be hearing. You're going to start to believe that about yourself. And so that's sort of like what, what ended up happening. And it was, I mean, it's basically been, what, two years of training that out of not just me, but, you know, a, a couple of the guys as well that have been here since my rookie year all the way to.